All right, we're back coming up on 645 this Saturday morning and Mother Nature seems to know what day it is since we're heading into the Christmas oh, yeah. season and everything, you know, maybe start with some snow. Festive <laughs> flakes. Exactly. Is what I'm calling them Love this morning. That. I don't think it's going to affect travel too much. Uh, yeah. Let's take a live look outside right now. Here's a live look uh, in York. Not exactly the typical beach day, but York Harbor Beach, of course, still looking pretty as always. Many of us this morning are waking up to some coatings of snow on the grass, maybe on car windshields, things that were able to get cold enough tonight. But take a look at this picture that was just sent in from Clyde in Holden. Looks to be about five and a quarter inches of snow uh, in Holden, so pretty impressive. And you can actually see the snow piled up behind this too. There were some decent totals that came in. Most of the highest totals, of course, were in Aroostook County, which is not a surprise given the setup of this storm. Almost seven inches fell in Caribou, 5.1 inches in Washburn. Perry in Washington County, about three inches. Rangeley, two and a half. Trescott, two inches. And Winterport, about an inch and a half of snow. Always eager to hear your totals, though. So if you have snow totals and haven't seen your town listed, send those in to me and we can get those shared. The storm is beginning to wrap up. Drier air moving on in, which means sunshine will develop this afternoon. Still a couple of pretty impressive snow bands. If we zoom in just a little bit closer here, uh, a couple of things to point out. Some persistent upslope snow showers possible across the mountains, and I think that could be a signal that lingers even into the afternoon today. And then down east is where the majority of the heaviest snow is falling right now on the backside of that storm system. We've got this one lone snow band that reformed and actually strengthened as it did so. Pretty impressive to see, and this is likely making travel pretty tough from Augusta through Waterville all the way to around the Pittsfield exit on I-95. Uh, some issues on Route 2 there as well. Plus, down east, we've got some heavy snow falling. Still have some decent radar signatures south of Millinocket toward Howland, and I expect to hear of at least a couple of isolated reports of people approaching, uh, you know, three, four, five inches or so, maybe even a couple spots that make it close to six inches in that area. Plus, down east, I wouldn't be shocked if by the time this all wraps up, we had a couple of higher totals that came reported in as well, too. So let's talk about what's going on with the storm system for the rest of the day. Behind this, sunshine will develop. I expect the clouds to break up as early as 10 or 11 o'clock across southwestern Maine, around 2 to 3 across central and eastern Maine. So, of course, just in time for those wicked early sunsets. And then tonight, temperatures will drop back down into the teens. Going to be a cold night. Wind gusts pick up today, too. Wind chills will be an issue later on. Gusts 30 to 35 miles an hour across the high peaks. Elsewhere, gusts 20 to 30 miles an hour out of the northwest, making it feel more like the teens for most of the day. Around 2 o'clock, it'll maybe feel like it's in the low 20s, so there's some relief there in the mountains. It never feels like it's any warmer than 5 degrees or 10 degrees later on, and then, of course, those wind chills will fall back even further this evening. The next storm system that we watch comes on Monday. Could be in just the right spot to bring a little bit of snow to Maine, but I don't expect any widespread issues right now. However, the forecast will likely change a little bit. We should get a better sampling of that storm later on this evening. Seas tomorrow, 4 to 6 feet, west wind 20 to 25 knots, gusting to 40 knots with gale warnings in effect until 6 o'clock today. Nicer with late clouds tomorrow. We're watching Monday's storm, cold and bright Tuesday, so that storm's going to usher in another fresh round of cold air. Bit breezy out there with increasing clouds Wednesday, and then by Friday again, behind another little storm system, we'll be talking about cold and blustery conditions. I don't really see any big snow accumulations, even if Monday's storm does track a little closer to the coastline. Doesn't look that impressive to me. Yeah. But it's great for the skiers and snowboarders. For sure. Great for people who are excited for any other winter events. Yeah. Lots to keep our eyes on this week. All right. Thanks, Mike.